Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mark Braswell. I'm an artist living in Denver, Colorado, and I painter, sculpture, all kinds of stuff. Uh, today I'm going to be finishing, hopefully, uh, a commission that I got. A really big commission. I'm very happy about it. So what it is, is someone saw a smaller piece of mine, very small, and wanted a large version of it. So the difference probably is the first one's about one by two feet, and this one is about four feet by five feet. So it's really big in comparison. So I'm going to show you what it looks like now. I'm almost done. Maybe two or three things left on it. Uh, so I'm going to turn this around so you can see. This is where I am right now with it. And I'm liking everything that's happening. Uh, there's still some things that are going to change on it. The circle right there is going to be bright gold. Uh, on the left-hand side, that is going to be cleaned up a little bit, not all the way. And this kind of uh, dark mark in the middle of it is going to be red. So we're going to do all those little big things today. So I will show you the reference I'm using. So this is the smaller painting or picture of it. And this is where I'm at. I think I did a pretty good, accurate job. So let's turn. There we go. So we're going to work on right in here first. So let's get going. Thank you guys for watching. Oops, it's almost falling thing. And let's do this thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. And there are a couple of drips in the original painting. So I want to keep some of that, but not all of it. So if I mix the color up here, it's kind of, it's orange, a little bit of yellow and some white. Again, I've said this before, when I use white, it's mainly to give it a little bit more depth. It has more of a chalk base to it, so it makes it stand out. It's not as translucent. So from looking at the picture, I know there's... And I don't mind if, you know, when I paint over these things that some of it shows through. Uh, I like the dimension of that. I like the way it looks. This is pretty close. So what I want to do here is, I'm going to let this dry because it still is a little bit translucent. So I'm going to come back in here. And then, this is called dry brushing for those who do not know what this is. That basically means I'm using paint, but I'm not using any water or gel medium or anything like that. And I'm just kind of really scrubbing it on the surface. What that does is it gives it a really cool texture. You can kind of, oh, you can't see it there, but uh, overall it, it's a really nice look.
you know, it's one thing to have an entire painting that has this one kind of very solid color. And sometimes that makes it look incredibly flat. And that's really not what I'm looking for here. So I'm just gonna take a dirty brush. And this is the red on the other side. Just gonna come in here. I had this done, this whole middle part done here. Let me move further just a little bit so you can see it better. But I noticed that there was like a piece of paper or something originally right here. So what I did to recreate that is I came back in with some really heavy paint and I let it dry overnight. And now I'm just going to come back in here. That needs to be way more red. When I'm doing things like this, I have this problem all the time. That was supposed to be cadmium red, but some brands are just not accurate. So this is more of the red I'm talking about here. So let's, yes, that's what I want. So I'm gonna go all the way up here. I like this bright red. This green that I'm kind of going over a lot is, I want it to be uh, like a disappearing, reappearing line. I don't know, if, uh, if you ever went to art school, you know what the disappearing, reappearing line is. The reason for it is you want to show variety in your line. You just don't want it all to be one length, one width, that kind of thing. So you start light and then you pull up and you kind of, disappears here, but then it reappears up here. So that's what I'm looking for right here. This is an interesting kind of conundrum that we have. When you do commissions, is Someone enjoys, you know, something about the original piece. And in this case, I was told that it was the whimsical, <laughs> free nature of it. And I'm like, oh, well, that works when I don't have a specific thing in mind. But here, I do. So, in a way, it has to be kind of calculated. But at the same time, it still needs to have the whimsy of other piece that is inspired from. So I'm enjoying that. This looks a little bright here, but it will fade. Okay. So here's the main one I'm going to do today. I need to sit down to do this. Show you the... So this is what I'm using, Golden Brand. This is called Iridescent Bright Gold. It's a really beautiful gold. You can see right here, this is like a bronze color and red in here. So I did a lot of things in here because I want to create texture and I want this color to uh, sit on top of it. So I'm going to be doing the dry, dr the dry brush technique. And I'm gonna be using a little red with it first, like this. And then 
the part you probably won't see when I do it is uh, I'm going to come back over it just with this solid gold. So let's see how this looks. Just barely spraying it because I want it to. Go on rather smoothly. And the way I get this kind of texture that I was talking about before, it's really just layers and layers of paint. I have seen people that they do make mediums like heavy gel medium and that kind of thing where you can get textures that way. But I like the way it looks when it is. Uh, like you can see a little bit of the background. You can see a little bit of where this paint came from originally. So all of these little areas here, I just like the way they look. There is a heavy texture in here, so I just like to keep that. So this is not quite the final color I'm looking for. I'm looking for a much golder color, but I think that is working. So a couple of more times, I'm gonna come back from this area. There you guys can see the whole thing now. Mark, get your head out of the way. I'm going to try and I promise. stopping point here. Take this out. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this. We're almost there. Let me turn around so you can see where we are now. You can see, you can still see the texture of this little square. That's exactly what I want. I need to work on this a little bit. I want it to look more like drips. Originally it was drips. And if I tried to do drips, it might be difficult to do that. So this is a good base. I think one more layer of the gold and it's going to be really pretty solid. This is how solid it's going to be, just so you can get an idea of it. So again, I want to watching along. I hope you join me 
next time, uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Leave any comments that you want. Uh, I appreciate all the well wishes and the, the commentary that I've been giving. Getting. Getting. So I will see you guys next time and have a great weekend.